Hi YouTube, it's Queen Pam, Elon QP. I buy stuff and I also use it. So I'm going to show you what I use and then I'm going to show you what I made. I have compiled a bunch of sequins and gems in um, a container that, you know, is readily available. It sits right here on my desk. I use my glue press from Sweet Petunia. I have modified it. And I'll talk about that right quick as I put the, the lid on it. I wanted to be able to, you know, the lid, it won't fit in there with the lid on. And it will fit like that, but it was kind of kind of wonky. So I took some popsicle sticks, covered them in black paper, and attached them with hot glue to my stand. And now, you know, it can... The glue thing can sit on my desk. To stamp the flower with, I used Versafine and I bought for myself the Altenu Billowing Peonies. It is huge. The size of this stamp here, the biggest one, is coming in over like eight and three-fourths inches so you're gonna need a supersized car or you just gonna use a portion of that so for the people across the pond that's probably you know a regular size i used the smaller one and the hugs um stamps right here and the stencil set the stencil set has like 12 stencils i believe i only use the the ones for the smaller one and they're a little different because there's one big one and then the rest of them are smaller and you rotate some of them around they are numbered then they have i don't know if my camera yeah they have an s and the number on them so that you know that these are the stencils for the small um, flower arrangement. So I used those. I also used this mini slimline postage stamp. Yeah, postage collage mini slimline block stencil from Waffle Flower. I used additional mini slim line layer dies from. Waffle House, because I noticed the ones from Spellbinders were a little bit different. So I went with these. My hand fell on the Spellbinders first, but then it was like, it's not matching up. So since I was using the Postal Collage Mini Slimline die from Waffle Flower, it just made sense that their things were going to layer up a little better. I got in some new finger daubers because mine were old and I had to throw them out. Pardon me. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. And then I also got from Amazon some pouncers because these were so much easier and quicker to do with the pouncer. So as you can see here, that is a really fine piece. And if you had a brush on that, it's going to tear up. And there were several other places on the, the stencil that had something similar that a brush would have caught on. So I used almost um, the formula that they gave you in the stamp set for my colors, but not quite. I deviated here. So I use Galactic Stream, Aqualicious, and Lagoon. I use Buttercream, Warm Sunshine, Caramel Toffee, and Paper Bag. And these are all Alta New. These are the older style and a couple of new. And I wanted to test out for myself when I started this journey was could a finger dauber work like one of these for pouncing on a stencil and yes yes it will so all of that and here is the card 
that I made. I love it. So I used the waffle flour die, and then I used two sizes of the mini slimline waffle flour die. The black that you see coming through the holes is hidden under there because it's one of a slimline die in the in the sizes. And then I went up a size and got this one. And this paper was colored with the aqualicious. It was it was all white. And and that's and I put a few gold flat sequins on there. And I believe I got those from Cartwright sequins. So not only do I buy things, I do use them. So as always, I leave you in the hands of the creator. Be blessed.